manifesting is power. And it's a power that each of us have. We don't always think that we have it because one, I don't think we're trained to see how powerful we are. But I would like for you to consider something, sis, is that everything in your life that you have, good, bad, indifferent, everything in your life is something you manifested. And what I'm committed to today is having you get the distinction and the clarity to manifest with intention versus accidentally and being stuck with a lot of cray cray that undermines your destiny, your performance, your profits, and your purpose. Hi, I'm Dr. Venus, your hot mess millionaire. And we're going in today on manifesting. I think that now there's a lot of ways to hold this word. And I'm going to use manifesting purpose intention. Those are the three catchphrases of today. And I'm going to encourage you look, before we go all the way in, go ahead and start sharing. So go ahead and tag post, um, Subscribe to the Hot Mess Millionaire podcast. I have, oh, I've got to make sure I put this in before I go in. Um, I am doing something really fresh that I'm very excited about. Um, I'm going to be doing a monthly deep dive with my girlfriends in my Girl App Society Facebook group, okay? And it's, so here when we talk, I'm talking in generalities. I'm giving you concepts and, and, and wisdom and strategies there I'm pulling back the curtain because all the all the women who um, are part of my girl who are my girlfriends they're all women who are who have pre-ordered the girl app and it's going to be the same community it's almost like our intern community that's going to be on the actual app when it goes live so I've included that link above so it's right there in descriptions okay uh, in the description and in the notes and I've included a link there. So there are two links that are important. One is to get information for updates because we'll be doing those regularly. Um, that's the app info link. And then the other one is the um, pre-sell link and you'll see it, okay? Girlapp.com forward slash pre-sell. Do it now, grab your seat. It's a minimal price, it's great. It's a great investment, but more than anything, we'll be together and I can say what's on my heart to say and not have to worry about being censored because my truth is too hot, okay? So I just wanna put that bug in your ear. Please go ahead and pre-order, pre-order the girl app. We're gonna go live, we're going live in 2022 because I wanna do it right and I wanna do it for you. But I would love to love on you, grow with you, share with you, create that community with you now. And you still got all the goodies of the pre-sale, but the connection, the energy of us being together, we're going to do that now. We're going to do that monthly. I'm going to bring in some guests. I'm going to feature some of the content creators. It is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm so, this is going to be so good. And I would hate for you to miss out. So I'm going to put that bug in your ear and tell you to shake a tail feather and go ahead to thegirlapp.com forward slash pre-sale and grab your spot, okay? So you can be, you get, get the um, link for our girlfriend's meet and greet monthly, monthly meet and greet, okay? So that's that. Um, Trying to see if there's any other major announcements. Um, no, those are the only two that are really important right now because I'm, I've literally shut down all my other, <laughs> I've shut down all my other pages because I'm going girl. I'm going girl or going home, right? I'm going girl app. And so I'm just getting everything in order so that that is the only way to access me. Either, you, either you're part of the girl community or you are a private client, okay? If you're interested in being a private client, just, just send an email to support at venusopal.com and Jenny will send you the webinar to find out more information, okay? Um, I think that's all for that. So those are my announcements for today. And um, sharing is an act of love. There's no one on, the, on these, in these internet streets who are talking about what I'm talking about especially really pertaining to how for black women and our healing and historical trauma, blah, blah, blah. So please share, share the knowledge. I put, I literally curate a series of resources, each, each podcast, and they are dope. So please share this broadcast as an act of love to the women that you love. 
and for the brothers who love us, you can you can listen to and share it with the women you love. <laughs> All right, allies, you can listen to and you can share it with the black women you love. Right. So there's no one left out. It's just that we're really orienting ourselves around we're putting black women at the center instead of the margins on my campus. Okay. Okay. So thank you for your support and having us win as a people. And um, I love you for loving me. And thank you for letting me be myself. And I'm thank I'm going to give I'm going to give a shout out to all the tech guys and all the social media platforms who didn't shut me down this week. <laughs> Not this week. This week they let me talk. Oh my god. Okay. So we're going to keep sending up good good juju. <laughs> So they can stop threatening to ban me. Ban in the USA. I'm like, oh my, oh my, my. Okay, so all jokes aside, kind of. Let's talk about this manifesting thing. Okay, sis, so a couple of things. People talk about manifesting in a lot of ways. I want to say that I'm talking about manifesting in terms of you accessing the intrinsic power that is your divine birthright. Okay? But in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. I am that I am. Okay. You want to put all those things that who am I? I am that I am right. And you and I are made in the image and likeness of God, the God of our understanding, whatever name you go by, have at it, not tripping. All right. So we are we literally hear me when I tell you, we were built to manifest. If you are created in the image and likeness of the great creator, then take the case that you got, some of your daddy's blood on you. You know what I'm saying? You, you got that creative, you got that creativity. You got that creative energy because you were built from creation. You know, breath was blown, you know, whatever version you do, you are animated with life. You are God wrapped in flesh. Okay. You are the alpha and the omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the head and not the tail. You are the righteousness of God. No weapon formed against you will ever prosper and never has, no matter how it looks. Okay. You know, you were born, you're, you're more than a, you're more than a conqueror. Now, literally, if you start really contending with all those words mean, you could, you realize you're a badass. Okay. And yet you and I historically, because of the institution of North American chattel slavery, we have not owned our creative power, our ability to create. Now we've, we've honed, but not owned. We've honed our ability to survive. We've honed our ability to create something from nothing. We've honed how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. You see what I'm saying? But we haven't owned our creative power that we are endowed with the same creative power as God. That is what it means to be made in the image and likeness of something. You can't, you cannot set, you cannot separate the wave from the ocean. They're one and the same. You cannot separate the tree from the root. They're one and the same. You cannot separate. I'm trying to think of something basic. Like you can't separate the sunbeam from the sun. And if you start really contending with that in your own, in your own understanding of who you are, your confidence is going to go through the roof and you won't live at the effect of the circumstances. It's the, the difference between being in the world and being of the world. We, look, I'm an old Testament chick living in a new Testament world. Okay. Very clear about that. I'm an old Testament chick. I'm, my God is a gangster. He don't care. He will, he will burn. He is not playing with us. Okay. So when you understand who you are, you have to start contending with your power, sis. And I say that because of all of the hurt, pain, and ugliness that you and I, as women of African ancestry, specifically in North America, but I can say in the world, with complete confidence because of colonialism and apartheid and all the, all the things that you and I have been distracted from our power because we've been focusing on survival. So here's what I want you to consider. Okay. Keep in mind that I'm thinking in terms of cultural consciousness, not individual consciousness. Don't forget that. All right. And I'm saying to you that you are a big part of something bigger than yourself. I know you know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. Our ancestors walk with us. The angels walk with us. We, we walk, <laughs> we roll in packs. <laughs> right? <laughs> and when you're distracted by survival, you start using your power to survive. At least I did. Let me speak for me. So y'all don't get grumpy. I don't see you sharing. Come on now. Don't get scared. I'm just getting started. I haven't got all the way in the cut yet. Um, 
when I was on the streets, I manifest, let me give you some real concrete ones. So let me give you some positives and some not so positives. So one of the part, one of the hardest parts about living on the streets was food. Obvious, right? I, food was food and shelter were like the the big the two big mana jammas, okay? And there was a, a, string, a string of days, weeks, whatever, when I hadn't eaten and I was really, really hungry. I was hungry to the point that it was hurting, right? And um, I was praying to God, the God of my understanding. Um, and y'all should know, I, I pull from a lot of spiritual practices and I still pray to a Christian God. And I'm down with Dyer, Wayne Dwyer, I'm down with Oprah Winfrey, I'm down with the Vita Gita, I'm down with Krishna, I'm down with Buddha, I'm down with Muhammad, I'm down with I'm down with I'm down with the trees. I'm down with angels. <laughs> I'm down with crystal healing. I'm down with numerology. I'm down with astrology. At different points in my life, I feel like spirit moved through different mediums that meet me where I was, right? And I I was I was I came through. I got a lot of food. It's gonna sound ghetto, y'all, but I got a lot of food and clothes from the church. And part of that meant I had to go to church to get the food and the clothes. <laughs> So, so I still pray to a Christian God. I wasn't raised in the church, so don't hear me, don't hear me crazy. I was raised on the streets, but one of my resources were different churches, whether it was Catholic or AME or Episcopal, Cap, I don't care if they had food, if they had a soup kitchen, if they had clothes, if they had vacation Bible school, if they had lunch programs, I was there. Be clear. My my religion was functional, right? And so there was a season where I was, that, that wasn't the season when I was not doing well. And so I prayed to God. I said, God, I'm hungry. I need you to do something about this before I do something that's not good, okay? And within minutes, I'm, I kid you not, within minutes, a book of food stamps. Now we're talking the 80s, right? We're not talking... Nowadays, y'all have like a card, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, we had stamps, books of food stamps that had $5, $10, $20, $50 food stamps. It blew against my leg and it was a book of them, okay? And I was, I was covered for the entire month, all right? But I manifested that. I manifested that through my pain. I was in need and the prayer was, God, please help me. It was a pain prayer. It was a supplicant prayer. It was a very, very different. It's, it's a prayer that we that shit. I think that's the one we know the most. As black women, we pray from a place of desperation and need. And we manifest from there. But if that's the only way we know how to manifest, that means we have to always create breakdowns in order to have miracles, in order for us to have, um, to access our power, to access God. Okay, so that's one. I want to give you one for the streets. And then, I'm, so when I wanted to manifest my first million dollar home, I went to this training with a black woman who was leading it. And we were doing an exercise. I'm like, oh, fine. I know all the things. Da, 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 right? And she said, write down what do you want? And I said, I said, well, you know, I wouldn't mind having a home because I wanted to be the first in my family to own something, right? And I had a house, but I didn't have a mansion. And that's different, okay? And I wanted a mansion. I wanted a million dollar mansion that had five bedrooms, five bathrooms, three car garage, a game room, a study. The, like I, 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 wanted a, I wanted a mansion, okay? And what I did was I sat with it and I was being with it. Like, okay, God, this is something that I want. This is a desire of my heart. And as I sat there and I, and I beat with it, and I let myself experience myself having it. And I tapped into the knowing that God, in God's house, there are many mansions. And God would never not want me to have what is my birthright. And I tell you, energetically, everything shifted. And it stopped being a want to a knowing. And within 30 days, I had my first, man my first mansion. Okay? And... Um, so I want you to see that I manifested both. That's my intent. I want you to see both of them are manifested, but one was manifesting from pain. You see what I'm saying? And the other was manifesting with a clear intention that I could activate that was rooted in what was possible. My prayers, that's clean, God. Please make that plain. Make that so clean, y'all. Please let me know if that translates, okay? And so... The question I have for you, my friend, 
my beautiful sister in success is what are you manifesting? Are you manifesting a lot of cray cray in your life? Are you literally living at the effect of the dominant conversation in the world of scarcity and lack and problems and woe and social change ain't never going to happen and white people are cray cray. Now I don't disagree with any of that, by the way, be clear. Okay. What I am saying is, for people who are average, who are mediocre, they get, they get, they get, they get pulled by the tide and the tide is strong. You see what I'm saying? If it's like when George Floyd was executed, the world rocked and it pulled us in a certain direction and I went with it and I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Okay. It was, it was a wake up call. It got me clear on the illusion of equality and I turned up over, turned all my social media platforms over to social change, specifically regarding the police killing black people, specifically black men. Okay. Then Brianna happened. I mean, it's all, the hour breeze happened. It's like, bam, bam, bam. Right. And so people jumped on the bandwagon and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, the, the, the consciousness of the world went to that and it was like a tidal wave and people jumped on it. But now noticed, notice a year later, it, that tidal wave is gone. And then a lot of the people who jumped on that bandwagon, we don't hear from them anymore. You see what I'm saying? So they got caught up in the race consciousness, the human race consciousness and went with the flow. You see what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with going with the flow. There are times when flow going is good, but that's not the same as the intentional manifesting purposeful planning of the million man March. You see what I'm saying? or the, the march on Washington. That's a manifestation. They had no, they had no cell phones in the sixties. They didn't have Facebook live. Did you know how, do you understand how they had to organize to have that turn out and have it be beautiful and, and, and peaceful in the face of all kind of ugly that's manifesting. That is what I'm trying. That's what I'm about. I'm about that life. I'm like, how the hell did they do this? How did they do this and not kill people? I think it's amazing, but they're manifesting from a different place. You see what I'm saying? There's, and I'm, I've been talking about this because I'm really in my own spiritual walk. I'm being with the difference between fighting and standing for something. When you fight, it causes more fights. When you stand, the fights fall away. That don't mean people don't have opinions, I, that is, but it's not the same. And it gets you a different result. So if you're manifesting from anger or resentment or regret, or I'll show you, you're going to get more of that. And it happened. And I'm going to tell you where you want to look to really know where it is. Look in your money, look in your girl, look in your bank account. And it will tell you what you're manifesting with. No, it was shameless. It's almost insulting because the truth is insulting and it's crass. If you want to know what you're manifesting, look at your money. Look at your money. If your money's jacked up, take the case that you are manifesting that. And I'm going to show you what I mean before I flip it on the other side. Okay. Take the case. I'm trying to forgot. Let me fix it. Make it beautiful. Make it beautiful. Let me try it from this point. Um, oh God, please give me something beautiful. There was this court. There was a summer when I was, I was hiring black people. I was really like, okay, God, I'm only going to work with black people. Black, 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 go black. Right. And I didn't have the distinction black excellence. Okay. So I hired black people who were amazing human beings. Hear me when I tell you good people, but they weren't skilled. They were learning on the job. Okay. And I was scared and I was being cheap and I was trying to be helpful. All right. Or be a good person. And I ended up losing a quarter of a million. All right because I was manifesting and the way I was manifesting was rooted in fear. It was rooted in being cheap. It was rooted in being thought well of. And what I got was a match for that called a $250,000 debt. Okay. Now the good news is because I know how to manifest, I was able, I start touring, I reinvented, I said, okay, God, let's rework this. And I'm, you know, of course I made it back. I turned that quarter loss into a million earned. Okay. In that same year. But the point was, my come from shaped the outcome that was preached. God, thank you for that one. Jesus. I received that my come from dictated my outcome. And if your come from is that you have, that you can't do it or it's not enough or everyone's against you, you will win at that game. 
you will manifest that. It will, it, you'll make yourself sick. It, you, and I even have some resources talking about how you can manifest illness in your body just by the continual repetition, just by the continual, um, um, well, repetition of the thought or the action. It becomes real. It becomes real. It becomes so real for you, no one can convince you otherwise. And the way that the universe works is that if you say it's real, it's going to prove you right about whatever you say. If you say that people are against you, you won't see the ones who are for you. You can't. It's literally an impossibility. You cannot see the ones who are for you because the only thing that you're looking for are the people who are against you. I know this because I have done this. And I have had to humble myself multiple times on this one. This one, up, this one, God, mm, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. When I am in survival, if I, and I've been, keep in mind, I've been working on me for about 30, 35 years. So this is something, this is what I do. Okay. I heal, I'm a professional healer. I have to heal on a regular basis. But what I was, I was wicked mad at white people for about 15 years. And I was pissed off with white feminists because of the racism embedded in feminism. You see what I'm saying? And I couldn't see all the white women who were helping me because I was so hurt by all the white women who were hurting me. Right. And I had to talk to God. Y'all know how I do. Jesus, what the fuck is this? And we talked it through and we got it sorted out. And I had to be with that. The reason why I was getting all of the ugly from the white women was because, and this, let me say it better. I was doing when I was 10 years ago, when I started my business, I was marketing to white women by default. Cause I said, I didn't say black. I said women. And when you say women, what people hear is white. And they were great with me. They weren't, they were great. And they would, they would, they would support me, blah, blah, blah. They would buy from me, blah, blah. But they would only buy low ticket. Now they were Canadian, they would buy high ticket. Okay. And what, and I was like, what the, what is that about? And I realized if I told the truth and I want y'all to hear my word on this and I'm telling you the truth because the truth will set you free. Okay. Is I didn't trust them. And of course, if I don't trust them, they can't trust me. <laughs> I thought that was funny, Lord. I, I don't know if anybody else but me caught that. That was that was kind of cool. But it makes sense because what I'm creating, my come from is I don't trust you. So how can they trust me with high ticket? With a high ticket investment if I don't trust them? That impacted my money. And it took and I'm gonna tell you to this day, and I'm not being awful. I don't I don't really how can I say this, Jesus, and not have people go crazy. I trust black women. So I do my business with black women and that's, and that doesn't equal in there from time to time. I'll have white women work with me, but for the most part, what I have learned is that whatever I believe I manifest. And if I believe that someone's untrustworthy, they will, I will prove that right. And that doesn't mean they aren't. That means that in my space, I pull for them to not be. If I, you, you, you've done this, you've ever been in a relationship with somebody and you love that person and all they can see is that all they are like, okay, you don't love me. You don't love me enough. You're, you know, you don't, you're going to leave me. And at some point you eventually leave and they're like, aha, I knew you want to leave, but they're not accounted for that. They pushed you away. I mean, literally pushed you away. They don't count that because they're right about how they're not lovable. Does it make sense? So that's a form of manifesting my sweet. And I need you to start looking in your real life. Look in your real life. Don't take my word for it. Get your own revelation. What are you manifesting? Are you manifesting from pain? Are you manifesting from profit? Are you manifesting from problems? Are you manifesting from peace? Are you manifesting from, I don't know, predictable? Are you ma manifesting from your passion? And you get to say, you get to say, look, look I, um, uh, I know that we're going through all kinds of cray cray. I, I, and now y'all heard me. I've said my piece about it, but now it's redundant because it's, it used to be a surprise to me. Now it's regular. You know what I'm saying? I no longer am surprised by what is being done in the world. I used to be outraged. Now it's an occupational hazard. It is the norm for me. And I'm like, V, you can, you can continue to be outraged by the world that you were born into in the time period, or you can, or you can stand for something. And what I'm choosing to stand for is black women being emotionally and economically emancipated. Because I say fundamentally that when you transform a woman, you transform a community, you transform a world. I say it will be the healed black woman who transforms the world. And I'll tell you why, because we are the measure. 
And no matter what they say, ladies, to hear me when I tell you, you are the measure. Your brilliance, your beauty, your style, all of that is the measure. So if we tend to you, the world will follow. If I tend to you, sis, and I empower you to set yourself free financially and economically and emotionally, and you start standing for yourself and you make your own paper and you start speaking up instead of talking down. And you start manifesting from what's possible, not from your pain. And you start standing inside of literally creating a world that works for everyone. No one left out and without you having to sacrifice yourself for it. Can you not see how everybody go and copy that? You see what I'm saying? Like, it's this, it's like if they can copy your hair, they can copy your behavior. You know, twerking wasn't nothing until Molly did it, but we've been twerking since we got here. Where, where I come from, we call it a dance hall. You see what I'm saying? Whatever we do, they copy. And I don't, I think it's, you know, don't feel, don't get, don't, I don't feel any kind of way about people's behaviors because I just think that as human beings, people mimic and we're just dope. And when you realize you're dope and you're like dope for me, you're like dope, then you should expect to be emulated and duplicated, you know, or, you know, but they'll never be able to be you. But if I can get you to really harness your power in service of you setting yourself free, you're going to end up modeling that for your children, for your boo, for the people you work with, instead of fighting their petty fights. I'm done fighting petty fights. I think it's ridiculous. I'll be 50 and next week I will be 50. I'll be half a fucking century. I am not spending the next 50 years doing what I did for the first because I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in fighting petty fights that make no difference. But what I am interested in is you. I'm very interested in you getting free and you fulfilling your destiny. That is my legacy. You are my legacy. And I take that very seriously. So what I'm committed for you, my sweet, is that you start to really create and manifest from what's possible, from your purpose, from your passions, not from your pain or from the past. I'm not interested in reacting to anything anymore, not to the past pain, not to the past oppression, not to the past betrayals, all of that. that the good news is it happened because it trained me, okay? And the other good news is that it's over. I'm not dealing with them no more. They don't get my energy. You see what I'm saying? They don't. You get my undivided attention, black woman. My undivided attention. And as I do, as I'm as I transition from social media to my own platform, because there's a transition time, okay? I'm asking you to come with me. Be with me in the, with the girl app. Be with me. Go ahead and get the go ahead and get pre-order it. Be part of that collective. So that when we move into our own home, <laughs> it's filled with love and light and joy. But it's not, I'm not interested in, I'm only committed to manifesting that which moves us forward. I really am. But I can't do it without you. And I'm shifting my own internal energetic from me to we. I'm, I'm literally creating myself as the possibility of loving leadership, support, and empowering partnership. And I know those sound like just like words, but they're a context. I've done it alone. I did look, I've done multimillionaire alone. I want to do billionaire with you. I'm a self-made millionaire, but I'm committed to being a God made billionaire with you, with you black woman. Hear me when I tell you this and I don't play at things. I'm wired to win and I want to win with you. Okay. <laughs> and other people are welcome to come along, but I chose my lot. I know what spirit told me to do. And my job is to take care of God's daughters. And that would be you black woman. So I need you to start listening from your heart and forgiving people. Stop dealing with the bull. I'm working on a curse and I can't guarantee shit, but I'm trying Christians keep praying. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> my point is, when you heal, when you manifest from your purpose, when you get the skill sets and the tools and the support, you will soar. You will break generational courses, cur cur curses. You're going to create generational wealth. You're going to heal your family. You're going to create a safe space for the men in your life to heal. You, it's all on you, mama, in a good way. That's how powerful you are. 
that's how much of a manifester you are. If you say all black men are dogs, you're going to attract every dog that is a black man. But if you start standing in that black men love you, that they're on your side, that they tr they're trustworthy, and that they need you to love them and hold them to account, you will attract a very different kind of black man. I speak, hallelujah, I holy Jesus. I'm, I'm trying to tell them, Lord. I'm trying to tell them. So it's all you, mama. It's all you. When you start to stand inside of your power, the young women around you will see what it looks like for a black woman standing in her power. When you start speaking up without talking down, the sisters with baby girls will see you do the same thing. It's modeling. Nana modeled for me grace and mercy. And some people are like, how can you be so gracious with people who are being ugly? I said, because I know it. I know the power of grace and mercy. I know I would not be alive without grace and mercy. I'm clear about that. And I, I would definitely wouldn't be well if I had not, if someone didn't love me enough when I was awful to grant me grace when I did not deserve it. That's the nature of grace. Mercy, you, have, you, you give mercy when it's needed. And, and if you withhold it, that means you harden your heart. So don't expect mercy because karma does come around and God does check the heart. It's the heart. And you have to heal to be able to manifest from possibility. I know. I put some, I put some resources in there for that. But when you jump, when you pre-order the girl app, I'll, you get access to the, the, some things that could help. I already built that in for you. You get access to, to monetizing. I included over $25,000 worth of training as a love offering so that any black woman wanted to know how to make money. She did not have to pay me. Okay. For my pre-order ladies, that's intentional because I want you to win. And if you're not winning, it's because you're not applying. You're not, imp you're not applying it, but you have to be willing energetically at your heart level to win instead of being right about how you've been wronged. And we've all been wronged. I mean, really, it, I mean, really, is that it is a pile of shit, okay? I'm not suggesting it was fair, but I don't know if you ever heard this um, phrase. It really freed me up. It says, it's not your fault, but it is your problem. And that, that handled it for me, Jesus. I'm like, okay, well, there you go, Holy Spirit. I'm accountable. And so I take my accountability as a calling. I'm true to you. And all you have to do is say yes. All you got to do is say yes. That's all I need from you. Say yes, show up and, and, and implement. That's it. There's no reason for you not to, to win emotionally, financially, spiritually. Even if you're not interested in being a millionaire, it's okay. If you're just interested in being healed, I still got you. I just, I do healing and money. Those are the only two things I do. Don't ask me to cook. I can't do it. I burn boiled eggs. Don't say nothing to me about that. I'm not good at, at domestic things. I I have people come clean my home. I don't do it. I'm not good at stuff like that, but I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant at manifesting. I really am. And I want you to shift your manifesting from drama to peace. Shift your manifesting from being a victim to being a victor. Shifting your focus from blame to being accountable for your power. And it takes a, you have to grow up to do that. And I know what I'm asking of you. And I'm going to tell you why I'm asking and I will wrap this one up. Okay. I'm asking it of you because you are exceptional. You are not mediocre. If you're within the sound of my voice, you are not regular. You are not a regular bitch. You are not an average bitch. You are a bad bitch. If we're going to go into speak parlance. Okay. You're not regular. You're exceptional. And you know this on some level or you wouldn't be flowing with me. You can't listen to me. I talk so much smack. You got to be somebody who knows that she has power. You may not know how to access it, but that's where I come in. I can train you. I can teach you. I can mentor. I can, I can roll it, roll model it, but you have to implement it. And what I'm asking of you today is to shift from manifesting from your pain to manifesting from your purpose. That's all I'm asking. And the way you do that is you take your attention off the pain and you put your attention and intention on your purpose. You are my purpose. You are my purpose. My intention is to empower you in your power. So I am putting my attention with my intention on you. And that is an intentional choice. I am manifesting billionaires called you. That is what I'm doing. I'll take you through the millionaire route first, but I'm, I'm not playing at this and I don't need every black woman to do it. I just need a tipping point. 
But I say this, you already know if I'm your teacher. You already know if you're up for this. And if you know you're up for this, start. I got a number of resources, whether it's my blog, whether it's my podcast, whether it's my articles, whether it's my videos. If you start implementing the stuff I talk about, your life will transform. The moment you, when you register, when you, when you invest in the girl app, you get access to so many trainings that are proven that if you just did, if you just did money mogul, you would make money. If you did new money mindset mastery, you will heal your money wounds. If you did street smarts, you will tend to your sense of self and, you, and create who you are for you. There, I mean, if you do new money now, I'm sorry, if you do new money now blueprint, then you'll know how to pitch. I have all that for you and I've given it to you for 50 bucks and you still complaining that you can't do nothing, then you're full of shit. So don't play me. You, if you're down for this life, then be, be about it. You have the resources. I made sure you had them. Just go to www.thegirlapp.com forward slash pre-sell. Get them and use them. And I put the link up here. So don't ask me to repeat it. Go read the notes. I put in a bunch of different um, resources. Read the resources. I put some videos in there. I did different things. And if you're not, and then share it so other black, you know, you're not doing it by yourself. But if you're not doing that and you're complaining, and you're bitching and moaning about how the world is not working for you, then you have no commitment to being exceptional and you're pissing on the blessing that is your life. And you have that right, but I can't help you. I'm only committed to those of us who are committed to actually winning and having other people win because we win. It's not enough for me to have my money. I need you to have yours. Jay-Z has a song that says, it's no, if you, he is brilliant. He says, if you have yours and you're the only, you're the person, the only person around you that's rich, then you're poor. And I think he's right. I think he's right. I think he, that's a real word. If you're the, if you have to be the top dog that, you can, that has to be the hero and save the day. And that means you have to keep people small. I'm not doing that, but I need you to step up because I'm giving you resources and either you'll use them or you won't, but it won't be because you didn't have them. Okay. He says. Okay, God, I'm falling back. I'm falling back. I'm falling back, Lord. I'm falling back. Look, I'm your daughter. I got the heat from you. Okay, so I'm falling back. All right, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Appreciate it, Jehovah. Jara. He gets fussy sometimes. So that's all I got for today. Please, if you are fed by this word, is life giving word, is life affirming word, please pay it forward. You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for the women in your life. Okay? And um, let me hear from you. Okay? So that I can know, you know, I want to, and, and make sure you make sure you subscribe, pre-order the girl app. So you're in, you get the goodies, you get the business training, you get the healing training and you get access to being part of the community as I build it. Cause I'm building it. And that's an intentional move on my part. Okay. So know that you're God wrapped in flesh. Know that I love you in that agape way. Know that you are perfect, whole and complete. That you are absolutely the answer to millions and millions of people's prayers. You are sis. And I will fight for you. I will stand. Wait a minute. I will. I, well, I'll fight you for you if I need to. But I promise you, I'm standing for you, and I'm standing with you, shoulder to shoulder, so that we can transform our bloodline. And it starts with us. It is ours to do. Why? Because God says so. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. This is Dr. Venus, your hot mess millionaire. Um, know that your love be on all measure, my sweet sister of success, and the brothers who love us, and our allies, and our fam. And please remember this: you are worth so much more than you have ever been taught to believe. This is Dr. Venus, your hot millionaire. Goodbye for now.